Hi everybody, it's Kendrick from Providence Tarot. I'm coming to you with your daily dose for today, January 13th. Yes. All right now, Leo. This is a Leo right here. Leo Cusp. Virgo. So let's go ahead and shuffle the cards and see what we have. I'm gonna keep it really simple tonight. I'm doing it a little bit late just because I had a busy day. And uh, yeah, I had to do some self-care stuff earlier today and it was really well-deserved and I'm glad that I did it. Well needed, right? I suggest that you do whatever it is that you need to do, that you like to do, that kind of like brings you peace, right? And solace, okay? Especially when you start to feel a little bit off, a little bit anxious, um, maybe scattered, right? That type of thing. That's when you need a little bit of an energetic tune-up. Some of you might even need an energetic tune-up because things have been crazy, okay? Let's go ahead and lay these cards out. So I'm going to go ahead and just flip them over. Princess of Cups, yeah, it definitely has to do with healing. Queen of Cups definitely has to do with healing. Dealing with your emotions, processing your emotions. You know, there are some new things that we have been prompted to feel, that we've been triggered to feel, you know? And we're just kind of like waiting for like the season to change. We're waiting to feel better. And while we're waiting to feel better about things that we can't control, we definitely should think about what we can control. And that is our inner world, right? We cannot control our outer world, but we definitely can control our inner world. So definitely pay attention to that. You know, when the seasons are changing inside, right? When the dynamic changes, a dynamic shift here, definitely with the page with the Princess of Cups. And this is talking about learning how to cope with your own emotions and learning how to, you know, deal with them and learning how to process them. The Queen of Cups is coming up with creative ways to process your emotions and deal with them. The Queen of Cups is related to the Three of Cups, which is Mercury in cancer right which is three of cups that is talking about your feelings and that is you know letting your 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 emotions inspire you letting your feelings inspire you it's like allowing your subconscious to speak to you as well and you speaking back to your subconscious by acknowledging those emotions and you can do that th through writing through you know um anything dancing creating anything you know, painting, um, you could be writing music, any of that. This is also just related to like the mother and talking about how you nurture that inner child inside or how you nurture that spirit that always needs to be guided, right? Motherly, um, what am I saying? Motherly guided, is that even a thing? Okay, anyway. So that's what you kind of like need, right? <clears throat> And you also need to be kind to yourself. You need to reinforce the, um, the notion that you are worthy of all of the things that you, you need that no one else can give you. You know what I mean? Because sometimes when people don't, don't show us what we need to see or don't tell us what we need to hear or don't validate us in some kind of way, it's probably just because they're ill-equipped to do so. We are equipped to handle ourselves. You know what I mean? It really is about survival and your healing and your, <laughs> and your, um, your healing practices are really up to you, right, Ridley? Yeah, she would say so too. And then Sir Nunos is talking about the time that you spend waiting or the time that you spend thinking about wanting to get yourself in a better, you know, headspace. Um, you want to lift your vibration up, but it's almost kind of like you get stuck, you know, thinking about what isn't right or what can't be fixed or something like that. This is also even like your thoughts oppressing you in some kind of way. Remember, this is Sir Nunos and this is the devil, which rules Capricorn, but also Saturn rules Aquarius, you know? So this is talking about your habitual nature, right? And sometimes we understand that um, we get set in our ways, we get stuck in our ways, we start to form a codependent or a, um, we start to form a complacent 
attitude, right? And uh, this is almost kind of like just getting used to some kind of structure or getting used to something that is habitual and that has created structure, but it's not necessarily something that's like benefiting you or paying off in the way that you meant for it to pay off or the way that you would like for it to pay off. This is kind of like needing to make better use of your time, you know, that type of thing. Make planning better, wise planning. Um, it's late, sorry. But it is number 15, so it is like the attention, right, or the focus on the conflict or the focus on something that is like not healthy you know so this is this is we need to reinforce those healthy <clears throat> you know uh habits okay reinforce the healthy habits start small and then you can grow from there right learning change it up too right because you're going to get bored right you're going to get bored with the same old thing so change it up Right, inspire yourself to want to, you know, focus on your healing. Okay, so we have another side here. So the hangman is, you know, <clears throat> on the other side, and the hangman is talking about sacrifice. It's also talking about betrayal. It's talking about learning your lessons from past mistakes. And this is kind of like some of you feel like you may have gotten yourself into a pickle here, right? This is also not wanting to get involved in something, not wanting to get involved in something that someone allowed to happen to them, right? Or maybe you feel like you need help and people aren't getting involved because they, they may feel like they don't want to, um, you know, attach themselves to like whatever this energy is here from the hanged man. This could also be some kind of like deception or betrayal. <clears throat> and maybe some of you have learned your lesson from lessons from some past um, deception, betrayal, that kind of thing. Um, it, yeah, it's kind of like not wanting to get yourself in, a, in, in that kind of situation again, or maybe learning your lesson, right? and realizing just how vulnerable you made yourself to someone that took advantage of your kindness or your weakness, or they may have taken your kindness for weakness, you know? But no more of that. We're, we've gotten over this right here, this playing the victim, this feeling kind of like um, sour, right? I feel like you're also keeping keeping your mouth shut about something. Some of you are just gonna keep your mouth shut about something, and some of you are gonna mind your own business, right? That's why the hands are behind the back. That's why that ankle is crossed, you know? Um, this also, you know, Pisces does rule the feet. So maybe you need to do some things like soak your feet. Maybe some of you need to do a, do a pedicure if that's something that makes you feel good, right? Because this is needing to kind of like restore your energy after going through a problematic situation or going through like, a traumatic situation, you know what I mean? The hanged man is kind of like, um, you know, the experience that I had, you know, and afterwards I have PTSD, like that type of thing. So that's why you have to like try to heal from this trauma. You have to try to get it out of your mind, get it out of your head, try to distract yourself with something else that isn't going to remind you of this thing. Uh, and also, you know, you have to make the right choice for yourself. I don't know what that means, but uh, you know, I feel like you're waiting to do something. You might even feel like you want to escape or get away from someone, get out of a terrible situation or get out of a bad situation. And I feel like I'm getting, I told you so, you probably already projected whatever was going to happen here. And now you're just kind of like, oh my God, I want to escape it. I want to get out of it. Also, realize that you can't control your outer world again, but you do control your inner world. And sometimes to control your inner world, you have to like look around at your surrounding circumstances 
and see what it is about that surrounding circumstance that you can change, right? If it's a job, you know, maybe you just have to wait to find another job. If it's like uh, wanting to move out, maybe you just have to do the research and, you know, try to find out where you can go or how to improve the environment from the one that you're already in now that you're trying to escape from, you know, like that type of thing, right? This could also be like someone not informing you and not letting you know everything that you needed to know, maybe making you feel left out, that type of thing. So I feel like somebody may have not invited you to something or you may not be wanting to invite someone to something because they, you know, they did something wrong in the past or they, they betrayed you in some kind of way, shape or form in the past and you kind of like never forgot it. You know what I mean? So um, that's also something. Set yourself free from you know, your own um, binds, or you know, I don't know, what am I saying? You have to kind of like release yourself from the, 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 the memory, right? I feel like you're still giving value to the memory of something and you need to let that go, okay? Right? Let it go. Because you can't change what already happened and I feel like what happened just made you feel terrible about the fact that you realized something about maybe someone or you realized something about a certain situation or circumstance that you may have like assumed something else about. You know what I mean? You might've been left in the dark about one aspect of it, right? And then you just kind of felt like duped, right? Um. Some of you could even be feeling like, like body toxicity, like that type of thing. Um, you know, body shaming. Uh, some of you could not be saying positive things to yourself about your body, right? You should celebrate the beauty that is you. Like I say, you can control what's on the inside and you can't control what's on the outside. You can control what's on the outside if it's like, you know, you're doing some work to do so. Like if you're trying to work out or you wanna have like better skin or something like that, you know what I mean? Definitely stop focusing on the negative and see like where the bright side of the situation is. You know what I mean? And then we have the four of pentacles here, which is bringing focus and attention to money and stability, right? Um, hmm. you know, it could also even be talking about greed. So maybe some of you need to bring some stability to your finances by, by not consuming so much or, or, or put some money away. Stop spending so much money. Make sure that that savings is steady or it's, you know, going up a little bit more every time you look at it, right? Like that type of thing. Some of you all could also just be like, um, Yes, it's like the Four of Pentacles is like money perhaps, okay? So the Hangman, the Four of Pentacles, it's like somebody may have uh, needed money or maybe you gave them money and you want the money back. That could be somebody, you know what I mean? Some of you may have loaned some money and it's time for that person to pay you back or it could be time for you to like pay off some kind of bill, right? If you were leasing something or you were financing something, this could be like just going ahead and paying the bill off so that you don't have like the the um, the interest sort of like accruing, you know what I mean? Because you don't want to get yourself like, huh, you just don't want to spend more money than you need to. And that's what the Four of Pentacles is talking about, not spending more money than you need to, making sure that you're managing your money wisely. The Four of Pentacles also talks about your fear of losing money. So you have to make sure about, you have to like, look at what it is that you're spending. You know what I mean? See where you can cut back as well. The Four of Pentacles is like, um, you know, um, not allowing yourself to get out of control, okay, with something. It's definitely trying to control like sex or not letting your body get out of control because Sun and Capricorn, that's what the Four of Pentacles is. Capricorn talks about your physical body. Uh, this is also talking about your teeth. So some of you probably need to go and get some dental work done because 
Sun and Capricorn is bringing focus and attention to like the bones or to the teeth, right? Uh, also even to the knees perhaps. But this to me, because it's a four, it's like the head because Aries rules the head. So I'm getting like teeth, that type of thing, right? Whitened, um, cleaned, fillings, that type of thing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Uh-huh, and it's also talking about being balanced on all sides here. You know what I mean? Definitely being balanced on all sides. Um, we have the emperor, which is the Lord. So this is someone with attitude. This is someone with intention. This is someone with a strong, passionate will to have what they want. And this is someone who also is like, just kind of might have a lot of responsibility, right? They feel a lot of pressure from the responsibility. Uh, this could be somebody that you live with. For some of you, it could be roommates. Or for some of them, for some of you, it could be like the man in your life, right? So somebody's kind of intimidating. They're a little bit forceful. It's like you're trying to, to please them, but it's almost like you can't, you know what I mean? The Lord, which is Aries, their 12th house is Pisces. So this is someone who is acting out of immaturity, right? It's like on the surface, they are extremely strong, right? They have this sort of like alpha energy, but underneath the surface, it's coming from a place of like um, insecurity, or it might just be coming from a place of fear, you know? So someone, someone's behavior is coming from a place of fear, right? The devil call is right behind the Lord. So, or Serninos is right behind the Lord. And Serninos is the god of the forest. And it's talking about, you know, your material attachments. And the Lord here is also um, aware of that. Here's another material attachment, you know. I feel like you might be fine. You might be feeling like you're a slave to some of the things that you are paying for. I, it, I heard today that if you have two-thirds of your day to yourself, then you are a free person. But if you work more than two thirds of your day, right, or you or you have less than two thirds of your day to yourself, then you're a slave or something like that. If you like work 10 hours a day, you're a slave, something like that. I forget. But, um, you know, this is also talking about wanting to be your own boss, because like with this card here, you've dealt with, you know, situations of having to like be under someone else's uh, scrutiny or under someone else's surveillance or, you know, whatever, right? And I feel like you've been feeling like left out or you just feel like you weren't in the right, you know, environment or the right situation. It just didn't make you feel strong. It made you feel kind of like weak, you know what I mean? So now we're looking at, you know, you, you, learned over time uh, how to kind of like stand up for yourself and be strong right but then also like some of you have like you know I feel like finances have gotten better maybe for you because the hangman is talking about like you know experiencing a little bit of like difficulty discomfort less than ideal situation right so then we kind of like fix that. We fixed a problematic situation, right? Okay, stabilize it. And that's what the Four of Pentacles does, or it definitely like restricts and it disciplines. So it's asking you to be more disciplined. It's asking you to practice some restraint, um, you know, where it's needed in your life. You know, where have you been doing too much of something that you need to kind of like do less of that or reduce it down, you know? Okay, how much have we been putting up with that we shouldn't put up with? You know what I mean? Okay, and the Lord card is here saying that, you know, don't put up with that, whatever it is, don't put up with the nonsense from yourself. And then the Lord card is also just talking about the fears that we have of not succeeding, right? So some of you guys could be feeling like it's really hard to kind of like feel successful right now or feel motivated to like, do anything that's created that's going to bring you success just because it's like we're anxious we're nervous we're wondering what's going to happen some of us are holding our breaths you know what i mean and that's kind of getting in your way it's getting in your head it's getting in your uh, it's 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 screwing up your ability to feel 
your creative energy flow. You know what I mean? You don't feel the creative energy flow right here. You might even, you might even feel like you're lacking creativity right now. Uh, but I feel like this Four of Pentacles says in time, you're going, this is a new moon in Capricorn energy because it was conjunct the sun and this is sun in Capricorn. So I feel like this new moon in Capricorn, which is what we're in right now, it's the 13th, is bringing us back into a new stability. You know what I mean? It's a little bit fearful right now because we don't know what, um, you know, we don't know what's going to happen. And I feel like that's what this is with the money too. Cause like those fours are unpredictable just because they are Aries, you know what I mean? But they are kind of like, I don't know, they're reassuring, you know what I mean? It's conflict that, that con it's conflict and resolution, you know what I mean? So this could be a, a conflict that as that is resolved you know or it could be some sort of like um responsibility that has um ended right so maybe you, you feel like you're not responsible for something anymore or you have um you know taking care of what it is that you were responsible for and now you don't have to deal with it anymore you don't have to um you know i don't know attach yourself to it Um, the Lord card here, Aries, yeah, it's just kind of like willpower, creativity, purpose, intention, you know, um, if you know why you do all of the stuff, then you don't have to answer to anyone. So that's what the Lord card is saying. You don't have to answer to anyone anymore. You know, you're your own boss. Uh, and it may not even be like in a career sense, but you know, it's like you can think for yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> and this is also a man that could be coming into some of you guys' life. I don't know. Just because we got some Mars energy, some Capricorn energy here, and we have like Neptune, okay, water energy. But these, this energy is coming together and kind of like making something grow, right? Hmm. Hi, my love. Is that the end of the reading? Oh, wow. I just had to like put something out there today. If it resonated, it resonated. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm so tired right now. Um, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. It's Providence Tarot. My personal account is NYC Kendrick. Yeah. Um, continue working hard. Continue working hard to make that money. Leave this uh, problematic, traumatic situation, you know, the hurt from the past, whatever that is, whatever the messy situation is from the past, leave it back there, right? Stop thinking about it. Stop revisiting it and make invalidating those old emotions, okay? It's time for a new emotional uh, experience, right? That's going to bring you more positive memories here, okay? And we have to realize what it is that we've been keeping ourselves attached to or we've been allowing to stay attached to us that has been hurting or hindering us over time, right? And you've got to pull away from that thing. It's time to wake up and realize where we've been getting in our own way and creating our own obstacles. And sometimes you have to let some things go. It's like you need to be flexible in your mind. Stop being so rigid. You know what I mean? Here, the Lord, Emperor, energy. Like, you know, be a little bit more open, be a little bit more flexible, but don't be so open and flexible that you give it all away. You know what I mean? So this is kind of like keeping some things to yourself as well. Don't tell everybody about all of your plans. You know what I mean? Let some of that stuff be a surprise. Let some of it be a surprise. You know, here we go. Right? <laughs> hey, babe. So that you stay in your power. Right? Because that's what this is. This, li this last line, remind yourself of how to stay in your power. Right? Okay, spend time working on your craft and doing work that is in that is geared towards helping your career or helping your creative gifts or your talents expand and grow, definitely. Okay, so that we can like really be on your A game. Okay, on your A game, on your Aries game. Okay, on your Emperor game, right? It's kind of fierce here too, you know? Hey, this person doesn't have to answer to anyone. You know what I mean? 
hello. And this person doesn't have to answer to anyone either. Hmm. You know, working your way up, working your way up, working your way up, working your way up. Get You, you put something behind you, you got rid of something. You put something behind you, you know. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Someone didn't treat you right because they didn't know your worth. But you're realizing that, and now you know your worth. And that's making you feel like this. Pew, 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 pew. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys at that. I just had to get some more so that you could get more. Okay? Because I didn't know what the hell I was saying. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Bye. Happy new moon in Capricorn. <laughs>